Marketing teams today live in a state of controlled chaos. They're working on the bigger long-term initiatives while also needing to fit in the new priorities and requests into the plan on a regular basis. They also have to learn how to use new strategies and tools and integrate these into their marketing mix while also working with a lot of internal groups as well as external vendors to get the job done. So how do you tame this chaos? One of the ways is to turn all of the repeated processes into standard workflows. Workflows are repeatable steps that people follow each time they do a certain process. So for example, creating a new infographic, creating an email campaign, or building a new section or page on the website. So how does this help? This helps because you know the timing, you know each of the steps, and you know who's accountable. And you can also get updates on where that deliverable is in the process at any given time. So for example, for our infographics, we have a standardized workflow. The first stage is the ideation and the decision making on what infographic we're going to produce. Then the second stage is the content production and research phase, where we develop all of the materials that will go into the infographic. The third stage is the review of that infographic. Is the content accurate? Is it compelling? After the review stage, it goes into the design stage where they take all of that information and turn it into something visually appealing. After that, we would do the approval process where is the infographic ready? Are there any issues with it? Are, are there any mistakes? Once it's approved, then we will promote it online. So every time we follow the same process for each infographic. So how do you set up workflows for your team? Well, the first thing to do is to list all of the, the major processes that your team does on a repeated basis. Then for each of those processes, document the main steps, including who's responsible for each step and the approximate timing. Then integrate these steps into a tool like Rike, where you can actually manage that deliverable using this workflow. Then use that workflow and adjust it as needed. By using that workflow, you can also get updated on the status of that deliverable. So, for example, you can avoid those status meetings or emails checking in on where this is in the process. So I hope you can see that workflows are a great way to allow your team to be more strategic as well as more creative because they don't really have to worry as much about the process side as well as who's accountable for each step. So I think you should give workflows a try for your team and let us know in the comments what you think.